to it's your boy out a la 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 owls and we back with another video y'all i'm not gonna lie i be seeing y'all rock with the fucking cartel videos i'm not gonna lie so if y'all want more of them y'all already know what to do just comment down below that y'all want more and i'm gonna do more you feel me anything my viewers want i got y'all for sure especially if y'all run it up hey and i fuck with the content but Say we got El Chapo's wife released from prison. Murder rampage starts. So it's like, as soon as they released her, bow, bow, bow. Fuck, 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 fuck. Nigga started dying left and right, you feel me? This is Miss Lady Wick <laughs> that I'm playing. But um, that's basically what they're saying. So we're going to tune into the video, see what they got to say. And we're just going to sit back, relax, and do what we got to do, you feel me? But if you're not, if you're new to here and you don't know what to do, Go ahead and smash the like button. Comment some recommendation. I want to see your hair. Comment how you feel about the reaction. Most importantly, you better subscribe and ring the bell. Shout out my post notification gang. If you're a part of the post notification gang, then nigga, you ain't gang. You feel me? But amen, say man. Let's tune to this video, yo. Of drug kingpin El Chapo has been released from a Long Beach halfway house. Emma Aispudo was uh, convicted in 2021 of drug trafficking and money laundering. Her husband, Joaquin El Chapo Guzman, ran the Sinaloa drug cartel and is currently at a supermax prison in Colorado. When El Chapo was arrested and sentenced to life in prison at the ADX Florence, his wife Emma stood by his side. She even went on interviews to complain about El Chapo's conditions inside his tiny prison cell. Hey, y'all don't be, man. I'll support the violence and shit and whatnot. But one thing I've been saying is, get you a real one like El Chapo's wife, man. You feel me? Because <laughs> she was acting like she ain't doing a damn thing. Apliquen los derechos humanos con él. No estamos but those who read between the lines or looked at Emma's behavior saw a different story. Was Emma happy her husband was finally locked away? Did she finally feel her daughters were safe? Then, Emma herself was arrested. But today, what? she's being released. She can go back to raising her daughters. Is she safe, though? After testifying against her husband and telling Sinaloa secrets to news outlets, can Emma even... Guys, I lied. I lied. I guess I, I guess I spoke too soon, too fast, too early. As soon as I said that, they say she's telling on them, telling their secrets. This, this, and that. Yo, my fault, yo. I lied. Is it Mexico? And will she live a quiet lifestyle? Or will she go back to being the Sinaloa Kardashian? We'll explore these questions and many more in today's video. During El Chapo's 2017 trial in the United States, Emma Coronel Aispuro was inside the courtroom every day. She blew kisses to her husband or just sat there poker-faced as she listened to some of the worst things El Chapo had done. That's right, Emma listened to counts and counts of brutal crimes that El Chapo personally carried out and not an ounce of emotion was seen on her face. She knew. According to one of his former <laughs> bodyguards, El Chapo took pleasure in prolonging the pain of rival cartel members in stomach-turning ways. In 2010, after having 36-year-old Hugo Hernandez grabbed and taken to his interrogation house. I need some money. Yo, Darius, can I borrow a couple dollars? No! Yo, you can't borrow shit! About, Get off my dick, you broke nigga! El Chapo personally made sure he would be found in several boxes across Los Mochis. One of the parts was found at City Hall with a note written by El Chapo. The note read, Happy New Year because this will be your last. Imagine seeing this on your way to work. But Emma wasn't phased listening to this. Even the ex Sinaloa guard testifying to this, known as Mamin, seemed a bit more disturbed. Mamin's testimony against El Chapo was so graphic that Judge Brian Coggan interrupted him saying, could we have less narrative please? Mamin testified to another incident. In 2006, El Chapo's men brought a rival cartel member to one of his mountain hideouts to interrogate him about his cartel. When he arrived at El Chapo's place, the man was already covered in marks and bruises. El Chapo complained about his condition, then proceeded to put him on ice in a chicken coop and leave him there for days until he began to fester. We told Mr. Joaquin that this man had a bad odor because he was decomposing in a way. This poor man was decomposing while he was still alive. He was buried the same way of... Nah. Decomposing while you're alive? 
That is fucking crazy. I'm not going to lie to you. That's fucking insane. And then Buried Alive too. Oh, my God. A few days oh later, God. the following year, El Chapo received two Los Zetas Sicarios from his own soldiers. He personally took care of them. Mamin remembered things El Chapo did to them that made even his Sicarios shiver. But Emma remained blasé in the courthouse. Here's the thing. During the same trial, a few text messages between her and El Chapo were played in court. Emma knew everything. The two chatted casually. I guess that's great, honey. Do we need milk? What? <laughs> Yo, that's fucking nuts. About illegal deals and unaliving people. They even joked about their twin daughters becoming just like their father. Our Kiki is fearless. I'm going to give her an AK-47 so she can hang with me. Until that point, Emma had feigned ignorance. She said she had no idea what her husband did and had never been a part of it. Now she couldn't deny it anymore. Her arrest was imminent. Emma Coronel Aispuro was born in San Francisco, California on July 2nd, 1989. She was the daughter of Bianca and Inez. Her father was a cattle rancher, but he was also an active member of the Sinaloa cartel. Her uncle, Ignacio Coronel, was one of Mexico's most dangerous sicarios. So Emma grew up learning that you could make a lot of money working for the cartel. In 1989, when Emma was born, El Chapo was already a feared criminal. He was born in 1957, making him 32 years her senior. In God fact, damn. El Chapo has children older than Emma. Wow. His firstborn daughter, Alejandrina, was born in 1977. Emma grew up in a world of contrasts. On one hand, brutal sicarios, and on the other hand, high school beauty pageants and California riches. When she was in high school, Emma won the coffee and guava beauty pageant. Reportedly, El Chapo had his eyes set on her shortly before the pageant, and it was because of him that she won. It's disgusting that El Chapo decided she would be his just like that. Damn. I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of OD. Not even kind of, that is OD, you feel me? She was his 17-year-old object, while he was 50. When Emma turned 18, she married El Chapo on the same day. Even then, Emma couldn't feign ignorance. Their wedding was attended by dozens of high-ranking officials, politicians, and of course, cartel members. Also, when they got married in 2007, El Chapo was already a famous fugitive. It was nationwide news when he escaped prison in 2001, and law enforcement was working hard to get him arrested again. In 2014, he was arrested and sentenced to prison again in Mexico. He escaped again, and this time, Emma bought property where El Chapo's escape tunnel led to. The question is, was Emma manipulated into an arrangement she felt trapped in, or did El Chapo's money and status appeal to her? beyond reason. After El Chapo's third and final arrest, Emma looked like the perfect loyal wife. No matter how serious the accusations got, she maintained a clear stance of doing, in her words, what a wife is supposed to do. Why is it important for you to be here? Well, I think it's what any husband would want in my place, to be with his husband in moments difíciles que son los que está pasando en este momento este de una forma u otra para que me sienta y me vea presente y se sienta eh, con, con mi apoyo In 2011, Emma gave birth to twin girls, Emily and Maria Emma went to California to give birth as she had dual citizenship ¿Ustedes por qué deciden tenerlas a ellas en California? Como yo nací allá, se este, supuso que era buena idea que también fueran ciudadanas americanas ¿Por qué es buena idea ser ciudadano americano? Por si quieres vivir en otro país, pues Estados Unidos se me hace buena elección y pues necesito eh, que ellos estén donde yo estoy. So Emma is not completely oblivious to the dangers of raising your child in the Sinaloa cartel. There's another clue here. On the girl's birth certificates, the father is completely left out. It seems like Emma is trying to shield her girls from any risk that comes with being El Chapo's daughters. After all, at the time of their birth, there was a $5 million reward for El Chapo's capture. At the conclusion of his trial... I'm not gonna lie, a $5 million reward is fucking absurd. That shit is crazy, I'm not gonna lie to you. I wonder if they actually be giving out the award if they, you know, help get them captured. Because that shit's crazy. Like, imagine risking your life 
you fucking help him find the fucking cartel leader. And then they say, psych, gotcha, bitch. We lied. <laughs> and then you just left to fed by yourself. I know that shit be happening out here for sure, you feel me? Not out here, but like out there. That shit happens out here, you feel me? Where people, they put up tip money, police tip hotline, and then people never end up getting the money, you feel me? That should definitely be happening for sure. So I, I know it's happening out there. El Chapo was found guilty of 10 charges with several people, including Amayo's family, testifying against him. This conviction, we expect, will bring a sentence of life without the possibility of parole. It is a sentence from which there is no escape and no return. Stories of unaliving people, bribery, and violent trafficking earned El Chapo a life sentence. One witness even testified to El Chapo making a $100 million bribe to a former Mexican president. But when Emma was interviewed during El Chapo's 2018 trial, she said the witnesses had lied in order to get lighter sentences. <coughs> hay que recordar que esas son personas que tienen que les dieron vida ¿no? entonces pues ellos van a, a decir cualquier cosa o para tener algún beneficio entonces pues no no me no me, no me clavo mucho en, en, en esas cosas what if she's the one saying anything to cover for herself or her husband at this point she was known as the Kardashian of the Sinaloa that's because during her husband's trial, she appeared at the courthouse dressed in new designer clothes every day. She would seek the cameras and take to social media to flaunt her wealth and luxurious lifestyle while El Chapo was on trial for making illicit billions from the narcotics trade. Billions! Desde que tú llegas, se le ilumina la cara al chapo. Es algo que nunca habíamos visto los periodistas cuando vimos las oídas. Pero cuando tú entras... Sometimes I just wonder how they're able to make so much money without the government being some type of involved, bro. No way, bro. No fucking way. You feel me? I'm not talking about their government. I'm talking about the U.S. government, bro. No fucking way. Hell no. Hell fucking no. No. Emma protected El Chapo fiercely in front of the media. Claro que sí, de repente me, me molestan. Como cualquier persona, ¿no? Que, que estén diciendo cosas de una persona cuando tú sabes que... Cuando tú sabes lo contrario, entonces... Pero no, me trato de hacer... De no enfocarme en comentarios negativos o, o ese tipo de cosas. Cuando yo sé que no, que no es verdad, pues no. Does El Chapo control his wife, too? He really controlled his entire empire, and he did it on purpose. Chapo didn't trust anyone. If Emma ever admitted to El Chapo's actions, two things could happen. One... El Chapo might want to get his revenge. The cartel is very serious when it comes. Hey, if your partner is being secretive with their phone, you need to do this now. Shut up, bitch. Most people are to ratting them out. Two, the authorities might seize her assets. After all, they were obtained with blood money. And who would want to lose such a lavish lifestyle? Emma seemed to flourish after El Chapo's arrest. Until 2016, she laid low. Now, she had half a million followers on Instagram, threw lavish parties for her daughters, and even launched a fashion line trademarked El Chapo. In interviews, Emma pleaded that the- Damn, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I don't know how they do it, bro. Like, imagine, like, hopefully she was posting all them pictures after she did this stuff, but like, imagine having such a big target on your back and you're posting that shit during, oh my God. Even even if she didn't post it during, you know, you had to be very careful who you invite. You can't just invite anyone. You can't, you gotta, you gotta check everyone's backgrounds. You gotta make sure motherfuckers don't come on there with their location on and shit. Like, cause you just never know, especially in that lifestyle. That shit's way worse than a gang lifestyle, you feel me? Cause cartel, they're way more, you know, hungrier and more brutal than a regular gang. I ain't gonna lie. So it's like, that lifestyle is crazy, you feel me? So that shit's crazy, for sure. U.S. government respect El Chapo's basic rights and complained about the conditions of the ADX Florence. Nosotros lo que pedimos es que lo atiendan y que pues, 
apliquen los derechos humanos con él. No estamos eh, pidiendo algo otra cosa, solamente lo. But on other kinds of TV shows, she appeared alongside other cartel members and talked about what it's like being the wife of a notorious kingpin. Shortly after El Chapo's sentencing, Emma threw a huge Barbie-themed party for her daughters. Maria and Emily had several balloon arches, <coughs> suites, and an entire ballroom decorated with Barbie paraphernalia. For many people, this was highly offensive. This party was paid for with money made from unspeakable crimes. His wife shouldn't have access to this money. It should be seized by the government. Indeed, El Chapo was ordered to forfeit the staggering sum of $12.6 billion. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. I'm not gonna lie. <coughs> I'm not gonna lie. No way. They have to have some type of hand in it. I'm not gonna say what I think, but the government has to have some type of hand in it. No way they no, 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 no. Cause they, they let the motherfucker run up that much money for a reason, bro. Fuck that. That's all I'm gonna say. That's my only opinion I'm gonna put into that. All I'm gonna say is I feel like they de the US government definitely has something to do. Fuck that shit. Of the cash he stole. And yet Emma didn't seem bothered by this. When a journalist asked her about how much she knew about El Chapo's crimes, she said, if I had known something. I wouldn't have been able to sleep or eat from death. And everything I'm saying is all opinionated, allegedly. Nope. I'm not making no fucking... I'm not making... I'm not saying no statements onto them, you know? I'm just saying what my opinions are. All alleged opinions, you feel me? Nope. Don't try to say I'm saying nothing about them. I ain't saying nothing about the U.S. government. You feel me? I'm saying what I think. I ain't saying it's a fact. No, nothing. It's an opinion. I had no idea. Honestly, how can some people have zero shame? Her innocent, devoted wife mask finally fell in 2021 with her arrest. Emma was charged with and arrested for conspiracy, trafficking, and helping El Chapo escape from prison in 2015. In November 2021, she pleaded guilty and finally admitted to her involvement with the Sinaloa cartel. She was sentenced to three years in prison. She also admitted to acting as a courier between three years, bro. <coughs> it's a mandatory two and a, I mean, a year and a half, two years for a gun. <coughs> a mando ten for a switch, depending where you are. Three years, that's crazy. Guzman, who lived the cartel and other organization members while he was being held in Mexico's Altiplano prison after his 2014 arrest. She also had to forfeit $1.5 million and will be supervised for four years after her release. Sheesh. The wife of drug kingpin El Chapo has been released. I'm not going to lie. Forfeiting 1.5 mil, probably a bag of potato chips for her. It's just a four years release, you feel me? The supervised release, because now you got to be extra careful what you do for the next four years. It's like you're in jail all over again, because realistically, when they say, oh, two years in jail... 10 years probation, that's just not fun. That's just not cool because now you're in jail basically all over again for those 10 years. Because you fuck up once, fuck up, depending on how what your record look like, you fuck up once, you might get fucking sent back. You feel me? You might get sent back to do fucking five years. So it's like, nigga, that probation shit don't really be it. Long Beach halfway house, Emma Iscudo was uh, convicted in 2021 of drug trafficking and money laundering. She was sentenced to three years in federal prison. In June, she was moved to a halfway house, which typically happens to nonviolent prisoners who exhibit good behavior. Emma will be supervised for another two years. Now she can wait her daughters, but is she safe? So she's in Cali? Here's the final twist. Oh, hell no. In the cartel no. world, there's an unspoken rule about narco wives keeping quiet and not flaunting their riches. You're not exactly protecting your husband from arrest if you're bragging about what you bought yourself with his blood money. Journalist Annabelle Hernandez, who wrote a book on Emma, has a theory. According to Annabelle, Emma was getting her revenge on El Chapo. El Chapo was seriously unfaithful to Emma, the opposite of what she was to him. She protected him, covered for his crimes, helped him escape, and put herself in harm's way for him. And yet, he continued to sleep with other women and commit heinous crimes every single day. So the minute Emma realized her husband would never leave prison again, she decided to make him see 
what he was losing. Even during his trial, Emma was seen smiling outside the courtroom and engaging in pleasant chats with the reporters. She even offered them cookies. She wasn't sad about her husband's ordeal. She was happy to be the center of attention, to steal his thunder. From prison, she couldn't do the same. In fact, whatever fan she had now knew she was not that innocent either. So what will happen now? Will Emma visit her husband in prison after breaking the Sinaloa code? A volatile, power-obsessed man like El Chapo is bound to be angry with her. While he can't do much from the state's highest security prison, his sons still rule the Sinaloa cartel, and they can exercise their revenge on Emma. It's likely Emma will keep away from Mexico and stick with her family in California. But even so, it's unlikely she will be able to flaunt her riches the same way now. She and El Chapo had to return a lot of stolen money. Plus, if she goes Kardashian again, the DEA and the Sinaloa cartel will be on her tail Facts. even harder. It will be interesting to see what waves Especially Emma's the fresh DEA. release will make and what she'll do to keep herself and her daughters safe. Hey, thanks for watching. I don't know what he said about staying away from Mexico for her, but I hope she stays safe. No bullshit, you know. She got two daughters. You know, he got two daughters, too. They already lost their father to prison, you feel me? He might be in there for life. They said life, you feel me, with no chance of parole. So he, he is going to be in there for life. So if she loses her mom, too, then she'll have no parents. I mean, they'll have no parents. So that would be sad, you feel me? So I hope she can stay safe. And keep her family tight knit, you feel me? But you know, I done heard stories of cartel pulling up and grabbing motherfuckers from Texas for playing with them, you feel me? And this is like proven shit that the news done already spoke on. So it's not like I'm just saying it to just say it to glaze them, you feel me? That like that shit's true. So it's like just cause she's in the States with me, she's gonna be safe. So I just hope she stays safe as possible, you feel me? Because once you're in that life, you're in that life forever. It's not like a regular gang life where they say you're in it, you're in it forever type shit. Now, nah, once you're in that life, it's really that life forever, you feel me? But, man, look, with that being said, I hope she's be safe. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and smash the like button. Comment some recommendation I want to see me hear or do. Comment how you feel about the reaction. Most importantly, better subscribe and ring the bell. Shout out my post notification game. If you're a part of post notification game, then you're not gay, you feel me? But it's your boy. L A L A L A L A L A L's and we out ground. You ain't talking money, then there's nothing else to talk about. Like a wide receiver, you can cover me, took a different route. Yeah, my money longer, yeah, like I'm little orange. You made that bitch last night, she seen my chain, she turned right to a group. He's a girl back to the crib, I ain't a director, but we made a movie. Too much money can't fit in my purple jeans.